Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer. We're back with another episode of our City Zoo, and this time we are able to use the Australian pack. And if you haven't seen it yet, I made an overview video uh, this morning about the pack and all the animals and all the new items. And I'm just really, really excited for this pack and especially for the amazing koalas and the amazing kangaroos because they are just super awesome. And I just really, really love it that they kind of give birth through their pouch and I think it's just amazing and it really just freaked me out when I found out. So yeah, I'm just super duper happy with these animals in the game right now. And also because we finally are able to finish our Riviera haul, which we started I think in probably episode 3 or something. So as you may know, like the original building or the original wing actually, was for a birds section or something like that and I actually was waiting a lot for birds to come in and they didn't came and we are now like I, I think four months later or something like that maybe even longer and we still don't have them so I'm like you know what I'm just going to finish this off with the Australian pack so I do have to admit like Picking a spot for the Australian animals was kind of hard, like for the South America pack with it, like the whole dome, uh, except for the llamas who are like pretty close actually to this building. For the Arctic pack, we have a whole land of the cold area with a lot of uh, colder climate animals and we also have an area for the Asian animals. We have a reptile house, but for some reason, I didn't really feel like starting a complete new area somewhere else. And I thought, you know what, let's just go to the Riviera Hall and see if we can create something city zoo-ish, but still in an Australian style. So inside, especially, it's going to look more Australian style-ish. At least we're going to use a lot of the pieces from the pack. And even on the outside, it's going to be a little bit more red, orange. And even though you might not expect it, I feel like it could be still realistic. Like just imagine having concrete being painted like you see a lot in those city zoos to resemble some kind of terrain, which actually is not really the terrain. So I think we can get away with this. And since it's also pretty much going to be hidden with a lot of higher trees and stuff, you will only see a glimpse of it if you would move above the habitats uh, or like above the zoo. So it would not be too bad. And I think we can get away with it. And I'm just really excited to build habitats for these amazing animals. So I did a lot offline, I do have to admit, like just in general, the building itself, the surroundings, I did do a lot of copy pasting from the other side of the building because basically all we had were like these glass walls, like the glassy dome, and that was basically it. So I decided to get some kind of restaurant in there, like the original building has some kind of botanic garden in there. So I might also squeeze in like a lot of plants and stuff from the Australian pack. I also will try to give the restaurant more of Australian vibes to it. Right now it only has some limestone still and I need, still need to finish it. Uh, but I think that's going to be very cool for the other side of the wing. So indoors I used a new natural path. The natural path is obviously not really for indoors, but when you raise it, it really gets a cool texture on it. And I do really like the color and it's not like too busy, like the other new path texture, which I really love. But in this occasion, I thought that natural path is just great to use for the indoor section. And also to decorate the indoor section, I used a lot of the Australian pack too, like the canopies and the lights, the decorational items for the walls, the Australian map and bins and benches. Like indoors, you can go pretty crazy with the detailing and stuff because while well, on the outside, you won't really notice it. And it's still on the outside, like the city zoo, the old city zoo we are going for. 
But I did use a lot of the wooden wall set you get in the Australian pack too on the inside because it's just so extremely good. I really love the textures of that wall. So yeah, I'm just really excited to finally do some more thematics indoors, even though like the Australian pack, even though the South America pack we did back then was really themed with like the temple and stuff like indoors of South America dome was really heavily themed. And uh, we're doing it differently in this case. I'm also not really feeling of like starting a new set box suit with like a desert Australian theme because we already have our desert franchise series in case you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> so we're definitely going to add a lot of the Australian pack pieces too in franchise mode and I thought for a city zoo I wanted to do something a little bit different but I do really like also the rustic poles from this new pack they have such a great color such a great vibe so I really wanted to use them and they are great for the contrast in our building because the rest is mostly lighter so I created some kind of railing like the building uh, this wing is split into two sections and I doubt if I want to add more koalas also on the other side or I'm going to dedicate it to one of the other animals and in my opinion I think the cassowary fits best at that other section of the building and then we have space left like like an empty space left for the for a habitat for the kangaroos and a habitat for the dingo so I think having the cassowary, which is still like in kind of way a bird, so huh, the reference to the Riviera Hall having birds and aviaries in this section in real life. So I think the cassowary is the best animal to add on the other side of this building. And then we basically just finish off the Riviera Hall and I'm just super excited for it because finally this beautiful building is going to be finished in our city zoo. So that is just super amazing. But if you guys have any other suggestions of what kind of animal we should add next to it, uh, definitely let me know. I didn't record it yet, so things could change if you guys are really agreeing to add some other animal next to the koalas. But I don't really feel like we should add the dingo and the kangaroo there. But maybe you guys have a totally, completely different opinion. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. So I made the indoor section for the koala. And the idea was to have like an open section. Like you can also do a walkthrough habitat for the koalas, which is not this case. But I still want to keep it open so the guests could have like a really natural experience with the koalas. Only the downside was that the koalas would be able to still climb out of the habitat. And I thought I had that covered with like some concrete pillars and stuff or concrete blocks, I should say. But unfortunately not. So in the end, I did have to add a glass fence in between. So I tried to hide it. And, but in the end, I thought, you know what? I still want to have this open feeling because it really felt like a big exhibit or something. So I really wanted to have this open feeling and I lowered the glass down a lot. So it still has like this glass wall, but also an open feeling to it. And I think, well, I, I would rather not see the glass at all but I think this was just a great solution to make sure that the koalas would not be able to climb out of their habitat to the guests. So on the outside of the building you may have noticed that I put down a round or well, half round building but that building actually doesn't have any purpose like I just added that one because the original building in Rotterdam Zoo also has something similar like that so to still have a little bit of a reference even though we're going a little bit of a different route here uh, I did wanted to add that half round building at the building itself and on the outside uh, like I do use a lot of the red rocks as I said like imagine that being like concrete painted like you see a lot in other zoos but other than that I try to stay in the same style as the rest of our city zoo and especially this building like on the other side of this building you have the rhinos and the pygmy hippos and the not orangutans we replace them with the chimpanzees and the gorillas and they all have like this same limestone fence going around the outdoor habitat so I kept in that same style also to really 
keep the city zoo building of the Riviera Hall as a whole and I think it just looks really great and especially soon when we will add a lot of trees and bushes on the outside of the building I think it's going to look really really awesome so I'm super excited to finally finish this building off and also I'm just super excited to see some cute little baby koalas coming into our city zoo now unfortunately I have five times slower aging on in this sandbox map so it's not going too fast all oh, but I'm just super excited for that like the koalas are definitely one of my favorite animals of this pack together with the kangaroos I think Frontier nailed it with the animations of the babies coming out of their pouches and also with the kangaroo when she's still pregnant you also get a glimpse already of the baby before it gets born like I'm just in love with both these animals and you can tell just by the way that they created these animations and how much value it gives more to these animals like I don't know it just feels so special to me and I do understand that it's going to be impossible for Planet Zoo to add these type of animations to any other animals if they don't have a pouch like you you can't really say like oh yeah i'm gonna have a dingo like really pooping out a baby <laughs> i mean yeah you can do that but in the end you want a game for like several ages and it's probably not really appropriate even though obviously it's real life but <laughs> well not really pooping out but you guys understand what i mean and I totally get that and at, at first I was thinking like okay but well maybe they can do something with the birds and eggs but in the end that would also not be possible because the main thing will stay that these animals ha are giving birth to a certain age of babies and if you would implement eggs even though I would love to see that that would just not really go well with like the sizes of the animals in the game because then you would have either a very very big egg for animals which don't really look realistic or they would have to implement a new stage of babies and I don't really think that's going to happen because that requires so much coding and programming and a lot of changes in the game and I'm pretty sure that they have thought of that but they're just they just decided to not go from there and they just decided to what kind of baby stage they wanted to have in the game so I totally got that even though I would love to see more of these type of animations or at least animations which really gives the feeling that Animals are being born in a very special way. I just really really love how this is looking with the kangaroos and koalas So yeah, I just hope that maybe Frontier will find a new creative way for maybe some other animals in the future too to uh, Have this amazing experience because I really really love this so yeah, if you haven't seen those animations yet, I highly recommend you to watch the video I just posted today or check it out yourself in the game, of course, if you can. If you can get koalas and kangaroos, just keep a close eye on them because it feels so special, so adorable, so amazing. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of them. <laughs> but anyways, enough about babies coming out of a pouch. <laughs> Uh, please do enjoy the rest of this speed build video and I will see you guys at the end of this video to show you guys around.
So just to give an idea for those who are new to the channel, this is our city zoo and we have an entrance right over here and we have the ring-tailed lemurs on that side, the flamingos on this side and this was basically the first big building we did, or was that this one? I'm not really sure anymore. Anyways, it was pretty early in the series when we started building this. And uh, so this wing was already finished with the gorilla, the orangutan, the pygmy hippo, and the rhinos on this side. But this wing was never finished. Uh, we continued doing a lot in the rest of the zoo, but we still didn't finish this wing. So I'm super happy that we're finally getting back to that. And um, this is the restaurant I was talking about. This definitely is not finished yet and we need a lot of foliage still on the outside here. And we have the koala habitat right over here and an indoor section right over here. So let me just show you guys how this is looking on the inside. So we go through the entrance of the Riviera Hall, which is inspired by Rotterdam Zoo in the Netherlands in case you're wondering. So we have this dinosaur museum right over here on this side and on your right side, right over here, is the entrance to this wing and as I said, this all is not finished yet so we don't pay too much attention to that. There's also a tree sticking out here. So this is going to be the area for the Australian animals, well at least two of them probably. And then on the outside we're going to continue with two more Australian uh, habitats because that is basically it. We can maybe squeeze in somewhere an exhibit on this side. And as you can see I used a lot of the Australian new theme right over here. I really do love how that is looking. And as I said, I prefer not having glass right over here, but for now it is what it is because, well, the koalas were able to escape. So yeah, <laughs> we just have to live with that, I am afraid. Uh, so they have this beautiful area right inside right over here. And when it's winter time and it's snowing or anything, we just close off these gates and then the koalas will only stay on the indoor section right over here. So we have a cute koala right over here. We have this treat feeder right over here. And uh, yeah, I think it lo looks just really nice. A little bit different from what we did so far in our zoo. I really like the red colors for a change to really get a little bit of a desert feeling, but still lush and tropical like I do love <laughs> to build as always. Uh, so hello cutie, how are you doing? They are actually so cute. I really, really love these guys. They have such a happy face. <laughs> I do have to be careful a little bit for the frame rates. I hope everything goes well. <laughs> the zoo is just getting so big right now. So I really, really need to pay attention to that. The FPS and doing these tours are starting to get uh, very hard. So I do it on pause mode. So I hope you guys don't mind. So let's go outside to the outdoor section right through the right exit. <laughs> so let's take this route and let's go around here. So here's going to be the restaurant, as I said, with probably a lot of green and stuff. I already put down a, a lot of mulch right over here, but this is also going to be filled with a lot of green and stuff. So we go around right over here. So this is the entrance for the keeper to go to the keeper hut in the staff room. And this is all going to be like all full with rocks and then also a lot of uh, green and stuff like you see right over here. And then you have like this little open area and it still feels like really uh, private because it's pretty dense here. So I do really like that. Like also these trees and shrubs that will come here and also on the other side of the water will also like uh, keep away a lot of noise and stuff so it's going to be a super relaxing area right over here not too busy i hope <laughs> and then they have this outdoor section right over here and as i said like i do really like these orange colors and it was a little bit tricky i was a little bit afraid it would be too much but I'm happy that I did it and uh, I think it looks really nice and especially if you have more habitats like this in this specific area. I think this is just going to fit the Australian area we're going to build 
in our city zoo. I really do like that. So they also have this tree feeder right over here. And right over here is going to be what well, I think the cassowary is the best fit for this outdoor and indoor section right over here. But I would love to hear your honest opinion, not like, but I just want to see this animal. I just really would love to hear your opinion on what specific animal we could add here from the pack. I think the cassowary, but I'm just really curious what you guys think. So do let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, I just really like how this one has turned out. I think these trees definitely fit in this area. I don't really see too much of an issue. Like they pretty much blend in with the rest, even though they're a little bit lighter. I don't really mind that too much in this case. And also, well, the bamboo is just okay because we use it a lot too in the Asian area we have. Um, so let's go and have a look again to the cute little koala where are you there are two or three in this habitat i think they're just absolutely adorable i really can't wait to see some baby koala soon in our city zoo but as i said like we have slow aging at like five times slower so yeah also pregnancies and stuff are just taking a long time in this this map per se but also we're going to add all the australian animals in our franchise mode of course so it's gonna be totally fine uh but yeah we just have to be a little bit patient before we can see any koala babies in our city zoo but i'm just super excited to finally see them why is there grass through your head <laughs> oh my god it looks so funny so yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this new City Zoo episode with the Australia pack. I really look forward to reading your comments. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and want to see more Australia pack and other Planet Zoo content on the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I just really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!